Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's Molly here with Ralna. If you guys don't know me, I'm the executive director of the association. And I am here with Jack York and Christy Stoglin from IN2L, also known as It's Never Too Late. Um, they are a technology company dedicated to helping seniors. Jack is the co-founder of IN2L and has over 20 years of experience in senior living industry. He is sought after as an international speaker on the topic of creating personalized experiences that engage and connect older adults to their loved ones. Christy is the vice president at IN2L and leads the IN2L customer support team. She's responsible for the long-term success of IN2L customers throughout North America. She has a passion for ensuring elders remain fully engaged and connected, and she leads a team that supports not only the elders, but the equally important caregivers. IN2L has been with us as a preferred vendor at the RA Nasha Convention the last few years, I believe, and will also be exhibiting at this year's convention in October. So for those of you that are attending, look forward to seeing them there. Um, we're proud to have them as a partner, and I won't delay any further. I'll pass things off to Jack, but I'm excited for you all to share your information today. All right, Molly, thanks. And I, I think you should leave your camera on so if your kids come on the screen that, uh, you know, it could just be like a CNN moment uh, down the road. So I'm sure there's plenty of people who've seen that video where the guy's in, in front of the TV interview and the <laughs> mom comes flying in the door and gets all the, the kids out of the room. That is my life. So I am going to turn my camera off so nothing distracting happens. But thank you for understanding. I'm sure there's plenty of us at home right now. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks, Molly, and uh, for the RAL folks out there, we're it, it, it's 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 analogous. You know, before we we get too deep into this presentation, there's really a lot of analogies between IN2L and I think the whole world of smaller communities and smaller homes, and that is just this environment that we're in. We we for 20 years we've been all about engagement. And it was, it's always been important, but to a lot of organizations, it was really somewhat of a novelty. And I think all of a sudden, the, just the heartbreaking things that we've seen over the last couple of months of families not being able to connect with their loved ones, all of a sudden engagement is a, it's a, it's a priority, it's an urgency. And the same thing, I think, with smaller communities. I think that, and I'll talk about a little bit when I wrap up, but I just think that the, the, what's happening in the world at large is just going to make a smaller environment a much more uh, just a, a, a place that you're going to want to have your mom or dad go and so hats off to a lot of you for being way ahead of that curve uh, as molly said we've been delighted to be a part of your conferences the last few years i think three years ago was the first conference and maybe a hundred or so people and then all of a sudden it's three or four hundred and then five or six hundred so i think the model's catching on and it's just going to explode. So we, we all are going through our own uh, personal challenges through all of this. When, when I went on the, the screen, I was, I guess it depends on how old you are, whether you understand this analogy or not. Uh, no one in the office has recognized me because of this big hair. This is really what I normally look like uh, hair-wise. A community made a bunch of sick heads of me a, a while ago. Uh, so it's a different it's a different look. So we're all going through different things right now. And from a senior living uh, community standpoint, from your environment, it's it's just incredible life and death decisions that you're that you're having to make. And it's it's just been an honor for us as a as a company to have had so many people reach out to us and say how our technology has benefited them. Uh, through all of this. I've been able to to reach out over the last two months to a lot of our customers, a lot of our our, uh, our our partners for years and years. And we feel this about our company, and I know a lot of you feel this the same way about your own organizations, is, is there's just heroes rising to the top through this whole pandemic and through all the tragedies that are out there. So we're, we're honored to have a solution for what that is, but we also don't want this webinar to be all about what our solution is. We really want it to be a lot more about what uh, what are things that are out there that can help in isolation right now. A lot of free resources, a lot of creative things that we're seeing our communities do. Christy is going to be driving that in a uh, in a second. Uh, before getting getting started, wanted just to talk a little bit about the company. 
So uh, my brother and a friend of mine and I started IN2L, uh, all the gosh, all of a sudden it's, uh, it's 20 years ago. And the whole, our whole concept and our whole, uh, just our whole mission has always been how do you connect people, how do you connect older adults living in senior living communities, people that are dealing with some kind of physical or cognitive uh, issue, how do you keep them engaged? How do you keep them relevant? How do you keep them connected to their family and friends uh, in a traditional model? As, as you look at some of the pictures and stories that we'll show on this webinar, most of what we're going to show is going to be more of a traditional community in terms of uh, whether it's a, a memory care community, a nursing home, an AL. Uh, but we're, we're, like I said before, we're in love with your environments and we think it's a great fit for what we do. So, and you can go ahead, Christy, and click to the next slide. So, so we have our, our, uh, our technology in uh, well over 3,000 communities throughout the country and, and Canada. And over the last, uh, we've been, like I said, we've been doing this for 20 years. We've got, I, I can't tell you how many references and stories we have of how our technology has changed people's lives through all of this. And we also just went through a, a brand refresh that go ahead, Christy, and click and show our new logo. That's the old logo. And this is our new logo. And we've kept the moon. You can see a little moon there tucked under the two. That's uh, very personal for me. It's uh, how my, when my, my mother passed away about uh, 20 years ago. And uh, the last, one of the last couple of nights of her life, we were looking at a moon like that and talking about where everything in her life had come to what she wanted it to be. And it was just, then she died very quickly after that. And it was kind of my own inspiration to, along with uh, a couple of other folks to start the company and, and do all the things that, that we've done. So uh, we've, it, I'll talk at the end about some of the things that we've done over the last, uh, really the last two months or so to kind of flip the, product offering of what we're doing, but for now, it's time to kick it over to Christy, kind of talking about the things that she's done. Christy has been, uh, everybody talks about their own heroes. Christy's one of IN2L's heroes. She's been a part of our team for almost 10 years and oversees everything that happens after a community comes on board with IN2L, so she's definitely the right person to walk you through some of what we're seeing through all of this. So, Christy, you're on. All right. Thank you, Jack. So thanks so much, everyone, for joining us today. I'm really excited to just kind of share with you really what we're hearing from our partners and customers all over North America. Um, so hopefully there'll be some practical items that you can take away today. We'll be happy to answer questions at the end, and truly we just thank you for everything that you're doing. So when we talk about um, IN2L, what we really are about, as Jack mentioned, is we want to enrich lives, and we want to do that through meaningful connection. And as you can see on the slide, connection is more than just connecting somebody to their family and friends. While that is incredibly important, equally important is being connected to your interests, being connected to your caregivers, and also being connected to the world around you. And we do that by providing interactive personalized content that enables experiences, conversations, memories, learning, and always fun. And so when we think about this, we are founded on the idea that everyone deserves to continue to live a full life as they age, and we want one with joy, with purpose, and meaningful connection. And we've seen, you know, through our company the last 20 years, as Jack mentioned, firsthand the impact that technology-enabled connection can have on so many stakeholders within the whole senior living model. And so today, as I mentioned, I'll just kind of be sharing with you some specific examples, some ideas, and just um, leave you with another set of tools that you can use each and every day. So the first thing that we really want to talk about here is the family. We know this is incredibly important. And especially during times like this, when there is a lot of concern, there's a lot of unease out there, the family members may or may not be able to actually see their loved ones and vice versa. And so when you are able to use technology, the family members still feel like active participants in their loved one's care and engagement. 
And with IN2L, it's a really easy thing for family members to share photos, videos, and other, other memories with their loved one. And the other thing that you can use technology to do when you are able to do those on-site visits and in-person visits is it can be multi-generational. Um, we know that these, our younger generations love technology. That's the world they've grown up in. And that's a great way that they can continue to engage even when they might find their loved ones living in a situation that they're just not really familiar with. And then we talk about things like life enrichment. This is always important regardless, and we're not saying necessarily a life enrichment department. Life enrichment happens on every level regardless of the size of a home. And we know that a lot of times, especially in the smaller care homes, people are fulfilling many different roles. And what the staff feels is more empowered and more effective in creating those meaningful experiences when they have the right technology. And some examples of what can happen here is it provides easy access to applications that facilitate that interaction. It provides cognitive and physical exercise, education, reminiscing options, areas of interest, memory support, and creates opportunities for elders to find common ground, work together to solve challenges, and just continue to socialize because it's so incredibly important. And what you do when you've got the right technology is we put engaging ideas and activities right at the fingertips. So now you're spending a lot less time planning and more time on focusing what really matters, which is enriching the lives of those that you serve. And we know the importance of this, especially when we talk about things like staff effectiveness. Um, when you've got all those tools and you don't have to spend two, or two hours of your day trying to decide what kind of activities you're going to do, you can just really directly spend that time with the elder. And then we start to talk about memory care. You know, I think, and this is something that we know again, this is that people have cognitive decline in many different levels of care. So it's something that we're all seeing day in, day out. And it's interesting because I think sometimes people refer to IN2L as a memory care tool. And my response to that is we're a tool for every level of care. But because it can be difficult to find successful engagement tools for people that are seeing cognitive decline, people tend to gravitate to IN2L because it simply works. And some of what you can see on this slide is when you use things like engagement technology, you can see up to a 50% reduction in the use of psychotropic drugs. That's a really amazing statistic there. Quality of life increases, depression decreases, and we all know those are things that are happening all of the time with our elders as they're facing things like that memory care, um, that memory and cognitive decline. Then we go on and start just really talking about connection as a whole. We know firsthand about the impacts that a lack of connection can have. And during times of precautionary isolation, it's even more important to keep our older adults feeling connected. Because we know for those who may have already been experiencing feelings of loneliness, further isolation can cause health issues. Loneliness can lead to depression, um, it can lead to suppression of the immune system, and it can compromise health in our high-risk patients. And I think one thing that we can continue to think about is physical distancing doesn't have to mean social distancing, and that's what we want to talk about today, because there's so many opportunities to create these connecting experiences for elders while keeping them safe and healthy. And so here's just some ideas. We're going to share um, just ideas of connecting people with technology in general. You'll see several pictures on this next slide. And there's really some simple things you can do here. And I always start with just kind of the obvious and easy. And it's just making more phone calls. Sometimes everyone has a cell phone in their hand. All of your caregivers are going to have that available to them. And it's just calling the family. And I always tell everybody, if you're not doing video chat and you're not doing phone calls, you know you're going to be hearing from the family because they're, if they're not hearing from you. So this is just a great way to be proactive. 
Email is another one. If you have people who have accounts and they're able to use this and you have a way to facilitate that. But what we're seeing out in, um, out in the world is all of these virtual visits. Video calls, whether you're using FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, Skype, Zoom, or our new video chat solution, which is amazing and one-touch calling. Um, so that's a really great thing that you can do. You can have family members send in pictures and videos for their residents to look at. And on the IN2L My page, we make that really simple and effortless as well. Um, and if you look at some of these pictures, you've got people doing the video chat on the, actually all of these really show that video chat, but we're gonna share with you a special video on the bottom of the screen. And Jack, maybe you wanna tell us a little bit more about that one. Yeah, we've, we've had a, a very extensive relationship with Brookdale over the years. This is a clip from one of their communities and it just, I think everybody's seen a lot of these pictures, but I, this video just kind of captures the essence of the power of uh, being able to stay connected with, with your loved ones. And so go ahead and, and let it rip. Hopefully you can hear it. You're gonna like that. Behave yourself. <laughs> no matter <laughs> a mom's a mom, no matter how old mom is or how old the kids are. Okay. And then this is another example um, here. And in this particular one, it's a creative way. One second here to again get the grandparents may be doing an intergenerational activity with a grandchild. And this example, Jack, you want to tell us the back? Story. Yeah, and this is this is from a few years ago, and it's a the the couple is at a community uh, with one of our larger screen systems, but this can certainly be replicated in a smaller environment. What uh, what this is showing is the grandparents are in I think it's in uh, in Iowa, and the uh, grandson is in California, and the teacher sends the some of the lesson plans to the community a week or so before so that the grandparents can actually do homework with their grandson. So go ahead and show the clip, you'll see. We won't keep it going for a long time, but you're gonna see just this whole interaction. Sorry, we're not gonna be back here. Yep, and that's great. So so again, you know, obviously you, you, you need to be flexible towards where are your residents, residents cognitively? Uh, but it's amazing. I, I just think that everybody's getting used to communicating this way a little bit, whether we like it or not. The picture that we have up here is from a traditional community uh, in Southern California, a community called Front Forge. And it's just, a, it's interesting. It's the, the, the gentleman in the top center of that picture. Every day he set up his own, uh, just kind of a, a a live stream for the other residents in the community. So Christy's going to start talking about ways to do some of these kinds of connections just to keep people feeling like they're still relevant. And that I, I know there's such a breadth of different kinds of, of small home communities you're involved with. A lot of them deal with dementia or they're, they're sometimes younger residents. But, the, you know, the beauty of the size of your communities is you can tailor these things towards the interests of your uh, of your residents. And you could also encourage, um, you know, different homes to have conversations with residents that may not be living yeah. right there in the same home. But I do love this. I mean, you can set up a live stream through YouTube. It's actually really simple to do, and it's free software. So um, a nice thing about YouTube is you don't have to have a specific account with them. You can share the link with the family. Um, and we're going to, you know, you can go on with us and get all the instructions as you see here. We'll be sharing this with you later. Um, and I will give you a couple tips. It's best to use a Gmail e address, but then you schedule a live event and then the families can follow the channel and participate. So 
So another just kind of out of the box way to use technology that's available to everyone. Yeah, and to, to Christy's point, uh, from uh, the the conferences that I've gone to, a lot of times there's individuals that maybe own three or homes, four homes, six homes, and things like this is a great way to keep you connected to your local church or to just the just the smaller kinds of of just relationship building when taking advantage of the size of your communities. And again, this is a great way to do something like that. So here's some other ones, and I'm going to step a little bit out of maybe technology per se, but you know, creating those connections, families, friends, we actually have created a pen pal program during this time. So if you, if maybe some of your residents don't have a lot of family and friends to connect with, you are welcome to join our pen pal program. You just send us the name of everybody in the building. It can just, or everyone in your home, it can be just their first names. And our employees and friends and families are um, writing letters and sending notes. So that's been really fun. Aka also has a Care Not COVID site. This is where you can just go out and share messages of support and happiness that can be shared with residents. So again, we just wanna share with you some of the resources that are really available to you all over, and these are two examples. This is a fun one too, and you know, live entertainment, um, again, we know in the smaller home model, this probably looks a little bit different, but I'm sure you have people come in for different kinds of visits. I know a favorite that we hear about a lot is pet therapy, and right now they may or may not be able to come in or may not choose to come in, but this is where you can use video chat again, and maybe they are in their own home and they can, see the animals, the elders can see the animals in the um, pet therapist's home. You can do the same thing with entertainment vendors, musicians, or talented family and friends. This is a great way for them to do a virtual performance. We love it when people enlist children who can be video chat pals, and we just talked about the animals. That one's my favorite, so I start with that one. Um, so again, just creative ways to continue to have the outside world coming in. And then there's, you know, a lot of free resources out there that we want to make sure you hear about. It's always great to look at something that makes people laugh. We'd love that. And um, you can just simply do a Google search and find funny videos. YouTube has a lot of them. Um, my recommendation is you generally go out and look at these before you share them with your elders just because you never know what might be in those videos. We've learned some lessons um, through the years from that. <laughs> But there's a lot of great stuff available on YouTube. Animal videos, live webcams. We've listed a couple here. I will tell you, everyone that I ever share the Warrior Canine Connection Cam with is a follower for life. They just continue to have litters of puppies, of goldens and labs. And who doesn't love the cuteness of litters of puppies, as you can see in that bottom right photo. Music. Google your favorite singers. YouTube again. Um, sports and Leisure, now's a great time to rewatch the classics. Broadway HD had been running those free seven-day trials. So um, it's just some examples of different free resources that are available that you can use when you've got some technology. And we'll be sharing more resources with you through the end of this presentation. Um, then we get to, you know, one that we certainly want to recommend. Um, is if you haven't heard, Jack did a 60-20 tour last year, and we basically did our own version of um, cruising and crooning is what we called it, and we have a channel on YouTube. Um, so you can sing along with your favorite songs, learn about residents across the country. Jack, do you want to tell us a little bit about this video? Yeah, these are, these are a couple gentlemen living with dementia that were truck drivers their whole lives, and you can see them uh, singing. You can also see that that's a more reasonable haircut that I, uh, that I have there. But it was, I tell you, it was a crazy trip. I, 30, 35 states and about 45,000 miles, and it was uh, so meaningful. So here's one quick snapshot of it. So luckily we, luckily we did that last year, not this year, that's for sure. But uh, I, I'd recommend all the other things Christy was talking about over that from an entertainment standpoint. But uh, if, you, if, you, if you're done with Ozark, then I guess you can go that direction. All right. 
So then I just want to talk about, you know, group activities. And again, we realize that the homes is a smaller environment. And some of you may choose to continue to gather everyone because it is their home. But we just have some tips and tricks that might be applicable for you. And, you know, one of the things that we just want to make sure everybody thinks about um, group activities is you have to be right next to each other. But you can do this with physical distancing. And these pictures are examples of that. Karaoke is a great one. Bingo, um, people who have the IN2L system, you can see on one of our large systems on the bottom left, they're using our bingo caller, and then they're using a favorite partner of ours, which is called Eversound, that has wireless headphones. And so they've got people scattered throughout the home or the community where they can play bingo together and listen to the numbers being called. So again, they can continue those things they love just in a physically distanced um, situation. Trivia is another one that works really well with this, and there's millions of sing-alongs that you can use. Um, so this is an example of one of the ones on our system right here, which is sing-along with Suzy Q. Perhaps. Apologize for the fooling. an example there and we will show you where you can print out lyrics to a lot of these sing-alongs on the IN2L website that you could use um, with some background music if you'd like. Can you go back one just real quick one file and just that uh, just for those of you again these a lot of these pictures and comments are from larger uh, communities 30, 50, 60, 100 uh, bed communities but that bottom left picture it's actually a television. It's a touchscreen television that we mount a computer to the back, and you're able to have it function just as a traditional television, or we have all of our content on it and the ability to do literally thousands of different experiences. So uh, again, uh, what we're going to be talking about towards the end of this are tablets, things you can do on tablets. But just want to let you know that that, that big screen is not just our content. It's a modified uh, traditional television. Thank you, Jack. All right, wanted to talk a little bit about spirituality because we know this is so incredibly important. And if, if people aren't able to attend the services that they're used to or have the services coming to them, there's still some tools out there that you can use. Um, there's lots of live streaming sermons. Our Daily Bread does a daily devotional that you can um, access on the internet. Same thing with utmost.org. Um, there's Come Pray the Rosary, where you can pray individually or with people all over the world. And when you have something like an IN2L, when you've got that technology-enabled content, you can create an entire worship service. So we have everything from spiritual videos to hymns to complete sermons that are updated um, every other month as part of our content update. So there's always something fresh there. But this enables you to do those things that we know are really important and can bring peace to the elders. And then we kind of take a turn, and now we'll talk a little bit about physical activities. Um, we know it's important that everybody keeps moving, and you know, depending on how much you can really get out, by utilizing technology, you can continue to have one-to-one -one therapy activities. You can have a therapist on video call working with your elders. You can do a virtual exercise class where maybe you've got the leader in somewhere else and they're um, streaming into your home, so you can do the exercise that way. You can always do a dance party. Again, that would be my favorite. And we have, like IN2L, we have several options that could be seated or standing. And this is conductor size. I really, um, it's one of our favorites because it uses classical music just to simply get people moving. So here's a quick example of that. And you do. So, hold up on the plane and rotate. Conductor Size is a program that uses the tool of conducting to get people moving and being made aware of the magic of music. It's that simple. And again, that could be done seated. And just to give you a quick tip, if you're using something like this, 
Um, chopsticks work just like the tool, so that's another way to do it. And then you can make it even more fun and experiential by using some ribbons on the end of their conductor wand, whatever it may be, but really just getting moving to the music. And then we talk about cognition. We'll talk about this quite a bit. Um, there are always ways during this kind of a time where you can continue to foster that curiosity and opportunities to learn. So one of the favorites for me is exploring new, uh, new places. And so on IN2L, we, this is another section we update all the time. We've got all 50 states, hundreds of countries and national parks throughout uh, North America. And this is one where you can create a full scale virtual experience um, because we include things like slideshows, trivia, recipes, you could even do a cooking um, class around this. And again, it's something you can do with people appropriately distant. Um, there's also free options out there like Rick Steves Europe that you could find. Um, again, this will, be a, this will be available to you so you would be able to access that easily. And some of the other things we're seeing a lot of right now are virtual museum visits. Google Arts and Culture website's a great one. And then you see some of our other favorites over to the right. But there's just a plethora of free access right now for all of these types of things that you could use on any device. And then we always love to nurture some friendly competition. Um, and you can do that through games. You know, games are a great way to continue to work on that cognitive fitness. You could play games, <coughs> excuse me, utilizing technology with cardgames.io, which is a free site. Again, maybe you play one home against the other. If you have something like engagement technology or IN2L, we've got games like unlimited trivia collections, casino games, piggy bankers, which is a word game, and it is um, kind of a cult following with our customers. Um, but what's really nice about having the right engagement technology is that these games are specifically built for all levels of cognitive and physical ability. And that can be what's really challenging when you're getting out there and trying to find apps that you can use, because they don't tend to be tailored the same way. So just something to keep in mind. Another great one, just keep everyone up with what's going on in the world. Um, what you see here is the IN2L tablet, and this is our kind of our home page for internet. And what you'll notice is right here you see the smiley face. This is the Good News Network. We love that, especially during times of crisis. This, again, is going to be news that is positive instead of all the negativity that we're kind of seeing right now and experiencing right now. We have the Dear Abby archives on here. We hear stories about people using that every single day, so we know there's some great conversations to be had. And then we love Google Earth. This is where you can have your loved one. You can put in the home of maybe where their loved ones live and they can get that street view and kind of do a quick check-in to make sure everything's okay. Even though it's not necessarily live, it sure feels a lot better. Um, so lots of opportunities there. And then we talk about how do we exercise the mind? TED Talk, more than 3,300 available that you can access there. Um, the other thing that you can do is just free brain teasers you could have a virtual learning session with an instructor, again, via video chat. Um, this top right picture used another, um, not really technology, but another great engagement company, which is Eldergrow. And what they have is one of their um, education specialists that used the IN2L to have her do a video chat. And you can see their garden in the background. And so they're talking about some of the plantings, the stages that they're in, and then what's coming next. So another way just to do those kinds of things. And then finally, um, this is again our tablet. There's all kinds of virtual games and trivia that you can use. And our example here is Happy Neuron. This is one of our content partners. Um, this is specifically made by um, cognitive therapists, neuroscientists. So there's a lot of science behind this. And again, it allows for content that's appropriate for all levels. Yeah, that's a huge deal. Chris, you talked about it a couple of times, but and I'm sure in a lot of your in, in a lot of your homes, there's a wide range of cognition among the elders that you're serving, and 
making something easy to do, it doesn't have to be demeaning. It's, you just want to make it easy. Instead of putting a puzzle together, instead of it being uh, 32 pieces, make it four pieces, but still make it kind of the same concept. And that's what we spend a lot of time doing with our content is having the different levels and then the ability to customize it for each person uh, allows that person to never feel either that they're being treated like a child, nor do they feel like they're just, that it's just too difficult for them to use. Thanks, Jack. And then there's reminiscing. Again, really easy ones here. You can go out to Google and just Google conversation starters. You'll get all kinds of questions that will come up. And then on this bottom right, um, again, it's a picture of just one of our examples of trivia. We have the cost of all kinds of things from years gone by. So this is the cost of entertainment from years ago. And then finally, um, you know, I think what's really amazing is you can use this technology and reminisce with people, and you can do this with the exchange of photos, stories, and personalized history. And this is an example of our tablet. And what that's showing you on the left is you could have a profile for every single elder in your home. And on the right, what you see is kind of what their own personalized space looks like. So once I'd clicked into a profile, you would have their favorite content. Then you also have where you can store photos and videos that the family members are sending in via text. They can get to their favorite internet websites and all of their contacts to have those personalized video chats. And what's nice about this, if you had one tablet in the home, you have one elder using it, then you properly disinfect it, and it can go to the next person. But it is really nice that you don't have a limit to how many people can have their own profile set up within our, our system. And that's one of those things right now. We know individual activities are key in, in this type of time. Um, so some ideas here are things like principal content. So things like puzzles, adult coloring pages, which I know I've done a few of those myself, um, interesting articles, maybe a word of the day, and then we challenge the elders to use it five times throughout the day. Um, maybe you discuss the weather. We know it's just really simple things to do. And this one, this picture we're showing you is actually one of our mobile systems that they've rolled into somebody's room. Um, so it's just another way to do those individual activities. And again, I'm going to give you our print site so you have access to all that printable content through this challenging time. Other ideas. We talked about brain teasers. IN2L's favorite is free rice. We love this because this is one where it has you answer questions based upon the category of your choice. And for every correct answer, there are sponsors that donate rice um, to the world. Um, I think it's the not the World Health Organization, but to people that are hungry throughout the world. So not only are your elders working on their cognition, they're able to give back, and we know that that's really important. Um, again, a great opportunity for daily devotionals, um, video chat, video chat, video chat, and I always say that um, over and over and over because you can use it so many different ways. But something to keep in mind, if Wi-Fi might be an issue in different areas, you can also use technology and have family members, like we said, use those cell phones and get those videos, get those responses and send them back, um, which is another feature that you can use with our tablet. And then this one definitely is a little bit bigger home, but these are still things that you could do within a smaller home. We've talked about bingo, you can do a book club. We always have an assortment of books on our systems. Um, Sing-alongs, crafts, and then we call our karaoke right now as quarantine. But what I love seeing, and all of these ideas have come, like I said before, from our customers across North America, it's just such a great time to just get creative um, and just do something kind of out of the box. I think one of the ones that I've enjoyed watching on social media have been a lot of different places um, where they've had friends and family dress up in costumes and then come like wash the windows from the outside if they can't come in. So you've got a dinosaur washing the windows or superheroes washing the windows or Disney princesses, but you can just do something different. 
So I really want to talk about resources, and again, we're going to make sure that you have access to this, but this is just several of our partners um, and friends that are making content available during this time of precautionary isolation. It'll just give you so many opportunities and things that could be right at your fingertips, so again, you don't have to spend that as much time planning. And I just want to thank all the organizations that are doing this um, because we know it's incredibly important. So for our customers, um, if you do have our tool, we have created a COVID-19 ideas button. And here is where we provide video chat tools, some of those virtual tours, printable content, COVID-19 information and resources. There's so much available to you, so we really did respond to this, um, this time. However, if you're not a current customer, as I mentioned, we are making resources available to you. And so you can go to in2l.com forward slash COVID-19, and behind each of those categories, you're going to find all sorts of content that you can download and print and utilize tomorrow. So we hope you take advantage of that. So on that note, again, thanks to all of you. I'm going to pass it back to Jack. We really appreciate what you're doing each and every day. I'm going to make, before you go, Christy, I'm going to make you go back. Go back, I'm sorry to make this, but to the tablet, it's just like a minute about that, where it's got the individual picture. Because I bring it right here. I just think this slide right here is, is such a relevant tool in the smaller communities. And, and you know, we're going through so many things, it's hard to keep track of it. But just in case it's not clear, every person there has their own experience. So the lady on the, t the top left touches her picture. Uh, you can choose whether you password protect it or not. In your environments, you can make that call. But behind her picture is going to be what's relevant to her in terms of whether it's video clips from her family, uh, whether it's music that she likes, whether it's uh, games she likes to play, and again, Everything can be partitioned to be appropriate for where they, where they are cognitively. And one of the coolest things about the technology is that the families are able to help build it remotely. So it's not all on your staff to have to figure out what might they might like or what they might not like. It really becomes, an to be honest, an incredible marketing tool uh, as families are moving in for them to be able to stay connected and engaged. So just that, that uh, it's just it's hard sometimes when you're going through so many things to keep everything straight, but that individualization of those tablets is such a good fit for the whole RAL environment. So thanks, Christy. Sorry for you are welcome. Back and forth. My pleasure. So just wrapping things up uh, on our end, uh, it, it, it's analogous to me a little bit what's going on right now is the uh, when you're on a plane and the, uh, the flight attendants will tell you to uh, make sure you put your oxygen mask on before you help anybody else. And I think everybody who's dealing with elders right now, everybody who's a caregiver, they're, you know, to, to everyone's credit, so consumed about how do you help the people that you're serving that it really is easy to forget yourself. And so we just wanted to throw a few things out there is just things that I'm sure a lot of you are doing, but it's just so hard on a day-to-day on -day basis when you're dealing with so many just really difficult situations to forget yourself a little bit. And so just wanted to, to make that, that point. So I think, you know, just, just again, wrapping up, uh, the, the whole issue of isolation, uh, it's not going away. And obviously there, there's some semblance of, of normality that will hopefully start coming back into play over the next uh, few weeks and months as far as businesses opening up, this and that. But the world of senior living, it, 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 to me it feels really permanently changed. And I do think that you're, you're so well positioned with the smaller home environment to be a really just a huge piece of this puzzle. And I, I just think that it's a lot of you have been doing this for a while and we're way ahead of the curve, but it's just really exciting, I think, to see that the solution that you offer, uh, frankly, like I said before, the solution that we offer as well uh, is a good fit and we really would like to be, uh, to be a part of it. Uh, I do, I really, uh, as I was saying at the beginning, I, I, I think I'm sure a lot of you are so proud of your own employees. Uh, I am as well as far as what our company has done. Over the last month, we've 
set up that COVID specific icon that Christy was talking about. We really have set up our whole training model to allow for virtual training and to be able to do things remotely without requiring us to go into your communities. We've, we've had a, a, a tenfold increase in all of our help desk work and we've handled that seamlessly, especially on the side of so many people wanting to do video chat. We've had dozens and dozens of webinars, put new pricing and starter models together, and uh, like I said, the video chat program has just been remarkable. All you do is just type a lot of the, the setup involved in traditional uh, video chat kind of programs that may take work on both ends, the family and the resident, having email addresses, logins, et cetera, et cetera. All you do with our tablet is just poke in somebody's phone number and the family member is going to see a text message welcoming them to, uh, to, to talk to their loved one and you just click the text link and you're talking to your, your mom or dad and you can easily add other people to that call. It's been seamless and it's been remarkably well received. Uh, and, and again, the, the link to free resources that we set up, we obviously we're, we're a business and thriving as a business, but we want to make as many free things available as possible uh, that we can. So we have, you know, we've worked with Gene uh, to put together a, uh, a, a really just a, a package specifically for the RAL residents. You know, Molly, I'm not sure if you can tell who's all on the call. Uh, but we do, we'll make that available uh, as far as we have pricing bundles that can get you going with a few tablets for under $1,000 and just a $99 a month for the subscription for the entire uh, uh, program. Uh, but we really, you know, we really welcome individual conversations where the uh, sales, the regional sales managers that we have around the country can walk you through how the whole program works. And, and like I said, I just think that there's a perfect fit between what we do as IN2L and what the RAL world is uh, is doing. So with that, I do. We're going to wrap things up. Christy, can you? I wanted to get back to the camera real quick. All right. If you can do that, and uh, in uh, in honor of all the people that are out there that are actually day to day working with uh, with the elders. Uh, really doing God's work and putting your own life at risk in some time. So we're from Colorado, so here's a here's a Coors Light, a toast from IN2L to RAL, and anybody who reaches out to me, we will send you a free six pack. We always have commitments on our webinars, and I've never, you know, these things are usually done at the 10 in the afternoon or 10 in the morning or 2 in the afternoon. Here we are, six o'clock Colorado, Colorado time. So, Christy, we are we are appropriately apart from each other. So, Christy, a toast to you for all you've done for IN2L. Molly, a toast to you and your kids that are climbing all over you right now, and to all the RAL folks that are out there. Thanks for your time tonight, and uh, we, we'd love to to strike up a relationship to help make the lives better of the folks that you're serving. All right, guys. Thank you so much, Jack and Christy. You guys are always so wonderful. What a wonderful product you guys have. And it has been advantageous, obviously, for this situation. And talking about that, um, and Jack, you, you pointed this out, we in residential care are really in an advantageous position, right? So we I've been hearing over and over again from vendors who specifically deal with big box facilities on a regular basis, and they've seen us, but they don't necessarily know if that's the market they want to be in as far as advertising goes or as far as a relationship goes, or if it would work for them. And they've been reaching out to me now saying, hey, I think this is the way the industry is going to go. I think this is where residential care as a whole is going to go, whether these big box facilities break down into smaller facilities or they reach out into the residential market. So just like Jean and everyone's been saying, this is the future of assisted living and you guys are in the right place at the right time. So and take we, advantage And we of know, this. Molly, we, we know when all these new vendors come up that want to be partners, you, we know you're going to remember who are the people that have been around for a few years. 
Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I and 2L has been with us for a long time and there's a reason for that. So we try and make sure all of our vendors that we provide for all of our members are quality vendors. They are going to be responsive to your needs and they're going to provide you with a product that is actually what they say it is. So I and 2L has been here for a long time and there's a reason for it. So I'm going to, will you send me this? Uh, did you do anything to edit this PowerPoint after you sent it to me before? No, you do not, because we have the we have the proposal that our VP of Sales Susan, who may be watching from her her uh, her uh, palatial headquarters in Southern California, but uh, we can get something to you by tomorrow morning that you can get forward out to everybody. But it was, we had great conversations with Gene. I mean, Gene's really taking. I mean, to Gene's credit, he's really getting in the trenches with us in this because I think he sees. This is really a valuable thing right now. And so we work together to put together a package specifically for for any RAL folks that are uh, that it's a better pricing, frankly, than we would give to other folks. So we'll get that out to you tomorrow morning. Absolutely. And Molly, so, the deck is it's ready to go. It's the same as we sent to you. Perfect. If you want, I'll just scrape all of the links that work for that everyone could be able to use since they can't use it directly on here and send it out in the email with the recording tomorrow. And um, from there, you guys will be able to access all of the good resources that they represented today in their PowerPoint. And don't forget about our next webinar. You and Christy should be there as well, Jack. Um, it's on May 12th with uh, Michelle Pinkowski. She is our resident attorney, I should say. And Brian Pinkowski is the president of the association. He's her, she is his wife, right? How are they related, huh? So I do have one last question that someone was that someone poked in here as soon as you mentioned that six pack, Jack. They asked if they could choose a six pack of Sprite. Yes, they can. We are we are not. Yes, we are we are. Or yeah, we will we'll send a six pack of anything to anybody. Perfect. And, you know, I was gonna say, you know, one, one thing too I was going to say is we get great ideas from our customers. So if there's thing, anybody out there. That has any other kind of technology, you know, we love to keep adding to our list of, uh, of of resources that are available. So, well, a lot of our success over the years has been listening to our customers. So, if there's anybody out there that's doing stuff creative, uh, let, let us know. Well, you heard the guy. Let him know, and you know we'll be in touch <laughs> with you. We're always doing innovative things together. So, everyone have a wonderful evening. I'll see you at the next one. And Jack, I'm sure we'll be doing this again. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Molly. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.